Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and this March, and we're continuing to uh, tap into Women's History Month and you know, uplift women, empower women, and really focus on heritage, which is really the focus this month. Um, you know, the things that make up her past, that her past is made of, the things that make her who she is today, and the things of today that are going to propel her to the future, make her future so bright. Um, today, I think I'm really excited because I think the person I'm speaking with embodies that actually. When you look at her past, when you look at where she's at now, the future is more than bright. Today, I'm joined by WNBA Indiana Fever Forward, Aaliyah Boston. How are we doing? Thanks for joining us. Of course. Super excited to be on. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm super excited for this. This is like, yeah, I'm just super excited for this. This is super dope. So I appreciate you cutting out time in the busy schedule. Of course. So let's go ahead and get things going. Um, You know, it is March Madness right now. Um. When, when like my head is literally on a swivel trying to make sure I stay attention it's either on a swivel or in my phone but um it's such a high energy moment high energy time so many things going on and that's just for me as a spectator as a fan I can't imagine being on the court winning a championship competing again to like like the back-to-back -back piece how is it how, how do you handle that moment you know when you it's when you were in college like how did you handle that moment and how did you handle that moment being such a high profile team? You know, it wasn't just like you were just competing and doing good. All eyes were on y'all every game on ESPN from the coach to the players. What was that like? It was really exciting. I loved every single moment of it. Uh, playing in South Carolina was really special because, you know, you are a top team. Everyone is looking at you. Everyone's bringing their best game. And I think it felt amazing, especially going into March Madness. You know that it's winner go home and you want to win. And being able to experience that with a group of girls, that I was able to do that with was really special. I mean, it's competitive. You have that competitive nature in you going into each and every game. You know, you have to give it your best. The coaches, they push you to be the best that you can be. And so it's really a special environment. That's super dope. Because, like, you know, I was talking about earlier, like, that was such a crazy moment to be a part of in your college career. And then you fast forward to the draft. Number one, like, I would love for you to kind of take me back to – there's so many emotions going on, right? You're soaking in what's happening. I can't believe this is happening. Dreams are coming true. Family, like you just think about so many things. It can be hard to be present or even past that. It could be hard to reflect like what just happened and take it all in. Cause you know, the next thing you know, you're in practice. You are you're moving, to yeah. What I'll be the team. Uh, how did it feel in that moment for you? And then have you had that time to kind of reflect back and like realize that, yo, I'm, I'm really living out my dreams while you're still making new ones? It was an unreal moment being hearing your name get called being number one pick. It was unreal, super special. Glad that God has opened that door for me to be able to be that number one pick. It was nice having my family um, right next to me in the stands because I think that's just such a moment that you can only dream about, honestly. Like some people can't think about one getting drafted and then two being the number one pick. Like that is honestly such an amazing feeling. And I sometimes go back to those moments, even now, like I'll go through my camera roll and I see my draft pictures, I'm like, wow, like that really happened. I honestly tried to enjoy that moment to the fullest. I think sometimes it did get caught up with like everything else that you had to do once it happened, you know, you had all this running around. And so there's these moments now after it's passed and it's like, whoa, that was a spectacular moment for me. And I know I feel like, I feel like when, as I'm speaking with you, I know I feel like I'm just stacking up your accolades, but they are there, they exist. Cause you know, first year, rookie of the year, like, what what is it like to receive an award like that? How, how, <laughs> I think the better question and the better way to actually put that is not necessarily how is it, what is it like to receive that award, but how do you maintain the energy that you put into the game and yourself to grow and be the best for your team and to like reach these standards? And then at the same time, acknowledging all these accomplishments, but knowing, hey, like I there's still more. I know I'm working in the year. I know I got number one draft pick, but there's still more to do. How do you how do you maintain those things and appreciate both of them stay focused yeah you just continue to keep the main thing the main thing and whether that's whether that's just continue to make sure that you're putting the work in that you need for the upcoming season but I think part of it too is just being able to accept those accept those awards understand what it means for you especially as a player for those around you because there's so many moments that happen there's so many accomplishments that sometimes I just got caught up in the okay one down another one to go one down, another one to go. More yeah. of like checking off the box, like this is what I want to do. But receiving rookie there was really special for me uh, because I think being number one pick, there's so much pressure 
already of you what you're going to bring to this team, what you're going to bring to this league. And so to be able to win rookie of the year and be the number one pick go hand in hand was really special because I, I think, you know, people are looking at me like, oh, let's see if she can handle it in that sense. And so to be able to really prove that I can handle it, that I did handle it was amazing. And it was something that I prayed on. I wrote it down before our season. I prayed over it and to see it come to pass was great. That's powerful. And I bet you just, just, Speaking to that piece of you writing it down, this, that probably just does so much for your faith. I can just kind of tell, like, energy-wise that you have a lot of faith and, like, you you, you yes. go through things without knowing you're taken care of on the other side and not really stressing about it. Well, probably a normal level of stress, but I can just see that in, like, the way that you approach things, the way you speak about it, that you're you're very heavy in the faith that everything is going to work in your favor and, or you're going to come out with some kind of lesson on the end. So that's, like, that's that's a with the championship mentality, championship movement. So I, I love that. Um, and I've been talking about like, you know, the things that you've accomplished and how you balance them. But I'd be remiss if I didn't speak about the, like what that actually means in totality as far as how you have to also uplift your team. Individual compliments are great. They get you to those, to those places, but also like, you know, in the sport of basketball, it's really not ever just about you. It's always about how my, yeah. my teammate better, how am I looking for this, this and that from the coach to the staff, to the team. Um, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a bit, but I want I speak to that because community, right? We also do those, there's also things that you impact community wise and us being community voices will be also donating to Lean In Girls charity. For those who aren't as familiar, their mission is, is um they're helping women achieve their ambitions and help companies like both build inclusive work pieces and you know where women can really thrive. All ditties are supported and empowered. Um something very powerful, something very powerful. As this being women's history month, I think personally. Women's History Month is great, but I think that has to be implemented every single day in the way that we move and the way that we approach people and the way we support them. So I love when we're able to do things like this. So I love the mission of Lean In Girls. Um, I would love to just understand as well, you know, how does that collaborative work? Because they're also partnering with the WNBA and NBA to um, do a specific program that teaches girls to reject stereotypes about, you know, what they can't do and embrace their leadership uh, superpowers so they can you know, really be those future leaders that we always see in them. Um, how did that collaborative work with the WNBA and Leaning Girls kind of help strengthen that women empowerment you feel? Yeah, uh, I think it's really important that Leaning Girls in the WNBA um, is partnering because these younger girls, these younger women, I mean, they see us as an example of where they could be or where they want to be in allowing us to kind of guide them in a sense of like, okay, you know what, I can be where she is or whether it's not through sports or something else, I can get to that level. And for me, that's really important because coming from an island, number one, where it's almost like I had to work extra to really get to where I wanted to go because it wasn't like the same thing that's in the continental United States is in the Virgin Islands. And it was just having strong women where that was my mom or my aunt um, around me and my sister that pushed us to be, be confident in who we are. And there's so much research, there's so much things about girls, young girls who stop playing sport at such a young age because there's no type of encouragement or they don't think they can make it. And we need those numbers to decrease and the numbers of girls that continue on through high school to college to increase to even professional because that's what we need in the world. So it's really special that I'm able to uh, work with Leaning Girls on this because it is it is crucial for young women to feel like they can be confident in this world. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent. I completely believe that. Um, And I, I want to circle back just a little bit to the support of women, right? I actually kind of circle back to that, to that mention of supporting women. From the NCAA to the WNBA, we talked about it. Like, there's individual athletes, individual things you have to grow, but it's also about the team. How do I support the women around me? How to uplift the women around me? How do I learn to work with the women around me so that we can, you know, thrive at the end of the day? From having done that all your career, and also taking in the fact that, you know, you said those people who've, who've inspired you your mother your family the women in your family who've inspired you to be the person that you are what has kind of been the biggest takeaway from your experience um of having to like you know really work and support the women around you in your career and how do you continue to do that not just on the court but off the court as well keeping that same practice instilled in you um the biggest thing for me is making up the women around me or young girls around me feel as though they're good enough I think that's always been my thought process. My motto is just like, I, if, if I don't have everything I need, that's okay. But if you feel as if, okay, I feel confident, I know I have what I need, like, then I feel like I've accomplished something in that way because 
I want to make sure that everyone feels good about themselves because that's how it should be. And especially when it comes to just playing on the court in general, if my teammates feel like I trust them, that's going to allow them to play with confidence where that was in college or in the league and vice versa. If I know they trust me that I can take the shot. Or if I feel like, Hey, I know you can knock this free throw down. They're going to get up there in that line. They're going to shoot the ball with confidence because they know those around them have their back. And that's the biggest thing, not just being women in sports, but being women in general, like you need to have other women that support your back so that we can go for- forward. Absolutely. I, I I love that you spoke to that piece of like not even just in sports, like that just has to be the mentality when we approach life in these various areas. So I, I love that you spoke to that. Um, I want to mention one thing too. I'm looking at your jacket, right? Like, I, you know, you're just you know, looking at your jacket. I noticed it's in the jacket, super fly, super fresh. Um, I would love to know, you know, what has that experience been like as an Adidas athlete? Like, I know we've talking about, you know, the thing that you've accomplished, but like to have Adidas partner with you and to help do these things and affect the community and um, just to, to have that kind of partnership. What what has that kind of been like to have that support at this point in your career? It's been truly special. Uh, my parents and I talk about it all the time that Adidas, partnering with Adidas has honestly been a blessing uh, because of what they embody, how they communicate, how they work with us. I mean, I'm getting ready to do a camp down here in the Virgin Islands and Adidas went above and beyond just continue to provide stuff. And so that's really special for me. And it's not just as if they're writing it for me, but they're writing for the young women of the Virgin Islands. And it's been a great partnership. Uh, I'm super excited for it. Can't wait to see where it just builds in the future. And their gear is dope. Are you kidding? I know you said it yourself, but that's, that's hard. This is hard. I'm trying my best to not be jealous, honestly. I'm trying my best. Um, That's super hard. That's super dope. I cannot wait to see what comes out of that. That's like so meaningful and special to this like I said, it's, I think, and it's kind of been the theme of this too, like, even though these moments happen with you in a way, you acknowledge them, you're grateful for them, but you're always looking at like, how can I, you know, continue to spread that love? How can I continue to, with what I'm blessed with? How can I continue to impact others, give that to others, you know, and t- continue to have, have people do that same thing. So I love that even in this moment, you know, hey, I'm with the Adidas, we're doing dope things, <laughs> products dope, the moments are dope, the partnership is dope, but I'm also still trying to give back we're still trying to make sure we're impacting people because the use of your pa- platform is very powerful so I, I love that you spoke to that and i want to ask you one more thing i know you're super busy um it's i think this is one of the most exciting times as a fan of basketball in general men women street ball whatever it was i've always been a fan of basketball <laughs> it is extremely special and exciting for me to see you WNBA be where it's at today how people have rallied around it uh, people have been supporting it, empowering it, speaking towards it, correcting people when they're wrong about it. Um, it is such a, in a special place, and it is, I, it's no coincidence, I think, that you're even a part of this moment, being one of those key figures, one of those key superstars in the league. Um, being that in the league, doing the things that you do off the court, we're just talking about some of the work that you're doing now. What are you kind of focused on while you take in the things that you're doing currently? What are you kind of focused on for the future, and that could be on the court and off the court. But kind of, what what is your future focus as you continue to go on? Just continue to build my brand, who I am, what I'm about. I think right now I'm in the space of continuing to try and figure out things I like to do outside of basketball activities I like to do, which which is important for me because now that I'm a professional, I have a lot more time on my hands, not really worried about school or classes or stuff like that. And so it's really great that I'm able to figure this out. But giving back to my community is always going to be a priority for me, whether that's camps or being able to give away food for Thanksgiving or for the holidays and making sure that people feel that they can enjoy each of these moments that come. And so that's really what I'm about. Just continue to build great partnerships, um, just be able to do things that align with what I what I love, what I um, stand in, and honestly just have a lot of fun with it. I think that's the most important part is not forgetting that all of this is just such an amazing opportunity, but it's just about having fun and being able to embrace each moment. I love that. I love that. And, you know, after this conversation with you, I know the future is bright. Like I, I said it in the beginning, and I can just confirm it in the end. The future is bright for you. The work that you do, the way that you move, I can I can just tell the, the sky is the limit. The way that you continue moving. So thank you so so much for even joining us today for impacting the community. Thank you. Shedding, shedding light on on um you know Women's History Month. You know, making sure that that message is spread and that 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 I can't I can't even like stress enough how important the women for women is important and not even just the women for women, but like everybody supporting women in general is. Yeah. So I, I love that you're able to speak to that. So thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you. Of course. Thank you for having me. 
Of course. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices. And we'll see y'all next time. Take care.